Tonight is August the 30th, 2015, <clears throat> and I've discovered something that really kind of puzzles me, but I think I need to document it. This is an amplifier that I have uh, posted before and used and really like. It's actually turned out to be a nice amp. Good 8 to 10 watt amplifier using the old uh, 6B4G tubes and a uh, circuit here from uh, uh, an Acrosound schematic. Really like it. Sounds good. Well, here's the funny thing about it. I got in a couple of tubes today and they're Jan 6B4Gs made in USA by Sylvania. Here's another one. They're really nice looking. They look like 6L6s. Huh? Here's the boxes they come in. Uh, Sylvania, I mean, you can see all that. Jan 6B4G. Uh, date packed November 1974. If you look at them very carefully internally, what they have instead of just a simply directly heated filament is a directly heated filament that is surrounded by a uh, oxide type cathode and it also looks like this is actually not the plate it's a bit confusing so you know you, you'll have to admit this one looks these two look pretty different from these two these two have two separate type of plates. This, this one's actually still on. You can see the the uh, film that's glowing in there, possibly. Yeah, there you can. Well, anyway, when I got these in, I was excited, and I said, oh, boy, let's test them. I plugged them in. I hooked it up, and it sounded great. I said, wow, this is cool. I like it. Really good. Really like the way it sounds. I said, but i got to test it. Well, here, here's the interesting thing right here that's going to, that really, pretty confusing. This is um, four versions. See, you, you can start right here and run one version, trace two, trace three, trace four. So I've run four traces of the, uh, the new tubes, the Jan 6B4Gs these guys right here. So I ran four traces of these and then four of these. And then I went back and run four of these again and four of these again without changing anything. All at 8 watts. And here's the output of the the Jan 6B4Gs I got in today. And there's the old ones. This, these traces right here, there's four traces there. If you look at it carefully. These four traces are these tubes. And these four traces are the much older tubes, these guys right here. And I did it twice. And here's the third time. There's the new tubes. Terrible low end. Look at that response curve. And then here's the old ones again. Nice and smooth. A good low end. Nice and smooth. You know, some attenuations at highs. That's the way it is. Let's go back to this one. The new tubes. That's not very good. Go back to the old ones again. Ah, uh, darn it. I gotta see what I'm doing here. Uh, sorry. There's the old ones again. See, they're consistent. There's the old ones. And there's the old ones. And here's the new ones. The low end is just horrible. It's got, it's just, it's just terrible. And then there's the new ones again. So I've run each one 
eight times. And these new ones just don't get it. They just don't get it. You can even look at the little traces right there and see, see there's the new ones, the old ones, the new ones, the old ones. Amazing, huh? Now, I'm not trying to say that all the older Jan tubes are bad. I'm not trying to say that Sylvania is bad or Made in USA is bad and that all the old is good and only the new old is good. But uh, I have some, uh, some seriously uh, different uh, performance from, the, uh, from these old uh, vintage tubes to these new Jan tubes made and packed in 1974. I don't like these guys. I don't, I don't want them. I'm going to send them back. What do you think about that?